If you're wondering how to clean and sterilize your Mum Cozy pump, then stick around as this video is for you. In this video, I will walk you through the steps on how to clean a Mum Cozy pump, sterilize, as well as my handy storage tips. So to start with, you need to just make sure that you do not have any stickers that come with the pump left on. We are going to want to make sure they have been removed. Now, the process is slightly different depending on the pump. So I'll start with the popular Mum Cozy M5. Now, what we are needing to do is find any of the parts that have come into contact with the breast milk. So we are going to want to, in this case, remove the pump motor. You can simply wipe that down, but this does not need to be washed or sterilized. That will leave us with the cup, with your flange, and with your diaphragm, as well as your duckbill valve. So these are the parts that we need to disassemble and then place in our warm soapy water after we have rinsed those. But I will go through that in the next step. For now, all you need to know is you need to find the parts that have come into contact with the breast milk and pull them apart. Okay, so I'll put that to the side. The next is the Mum Cozy S12 Pro, and this is the same process for its sister pump, the S9 Pro. Again, we are just going to want to remove the pump motor. This does not need to be cleaned and sterilized, the same as any parts that have come into contact with your breast milk. You can simply wipe this down if you need to with a dry cloth. Now, we are going to want to pull apart any of these parts that have come into contact with the breast milk. So you have your collection cup, you have your diaphragm, you have your duckbill valve, there is a linker, as well as your flange. Now, I should also point out, if you have any flange inserts, you will want to remove these as well and separate them. Okay, put that aside. Now, the V1 and its sister's pump, the Mum Cozy V2, are slightly different. Uh, these, as you can see, have a tubing. Now, this tubing does not get breast milk in it. So this is a closed system, which means the tubing does not come into contact with the breast milk. Therefore, we do not need to clean and sterilize it. We simply remove the tubing with the pump motor. Again, you can wipe that down with the dry um, cloth if you need to. Then we need to take your collection cup. Now with this, if you pull this off, you can clearly see that it says do not boil or microwave. So you can wash this in warm soapy water and then rinse it off. But this does not and cannot be boiled or microwaved for sterilization. Again, you'll see this part does not actually come in contact with any of the breast milk. So it does not need to be sterilized. We then pull apart our pump. You have your duckbill valve on this side. There is a diaphragm. You have your flange. And again, any flange inserts, make sure that you separate these. I also like to open up the valve and so we can clean under there after. Right, so let's take a look at the next step in cleaning your Mum Cozy pump. After you have dis disassembled your pump, you are going to want to wash any breast milk off just in some warm running water. Uh, once you have done that, the next step is to wash your pump parts in some warm soapy water. So you can do this in the sink for this experiment or for this demonstration. I am just doing it in a bowl. Um, you simply pop your pump part in to the warm water. Now you can use your fingers. Um, ideally use a, a bottle brush or a sponge. Now this is the one that came with my Mum Cozy M5 kit. 
And what you're wanting to do is to make sure you get into all the little parts of the flange, especially on the M5 um, as well as the S12 Pro. They have this extra um, lip here, uh, breast cushion. So you're going to want to just make sure you scrub and that there is no residue milk left in there. Give it a really good scrub down. Now you can use any bottle brush for this. Um, there isn't necessarily a preference for this little part here. Again, this is a smaller bottle brush. Just make sure you get into all the little parts. This is really important to make sure that you don't have any leftover breast milk breeding bacteria. Again, with your diaphragm, there's this little lip here. You are going to want to make sure you get into all those little parts and just give it a really good wash and scrub. You can pop it out a little bit, give it a really good wash. Your duckbill valve. Now this is where the small bottle brush is really handy. You can get right in there. And again, we will clean the collection cup. Just making sure you get into any of the parts where the breast milk has gotten, um, especially little parts like the pouring uh, spout. It's really great to have a smaller bottle brush on hand. Now, once you have done this, rinse off any of this excess soap, and then we will look at how to sterilize these. Once your pump parts have been rinsed, cleaned, and then rinsed again, we are going to want to place them into a pot of boiling water for five to 10 minutes. Now, imagine this is on the stove and the bubbles are bubbling away. You are then going to want to gently place your parts into the pot. Now, you'll probably want to choose a larger pot to fit both your pump size. Make sure though that you have completely submerged your pump parts. Um, this is important to make sure all the pump parts get sterilized. Now I probably did not choose the best size pot for this example. Um, so yes, choose a decent pot size is number one tip. Let that boil for five to 10 minutes. Once they have boiled, they are now ready to come out. Use a pair of tongs because this is boiling water. You can grab a piece of paper towel or a um, bottle drying rack is certainly fine. Place these on and let them air dry. All right, so that, I'll move that out the way. You then let these air dry on their paper towel. Don't use a tea towel. Um, they can be a, a breeding ground for bacteria. So use something like a disposable clean paper towel or a drying rack. Um, next step, I will talk you through how to store your now sterilized pump. But before I do that, it think it's important to note that there are different sterilization methods. So the boiling in a pot is certainly uh, a very effective way to do it. Um, it's very simple, but it's not always the most convenient. Uh, there is other options such as a microwave steam bag. Now, Mum Cozy does sell these. I will pop a link in the comments. Uh, the only thing to note is that they are not suitable for the M5 pump. You can use them for the S12 Pro, the S9 Pro, the V1 and the V2, but they are not suitable for the Mum Cozy M5. These need to be boiled to sterilize. Uh, it's to do with the softness in the silicon. Uh, I don't have a microwave bag on hand, but they are very simple to use. You open them up, 
you pop in some water, seal them back up and pop them in the microwave for th around three minutes. Now, these are also great because if you can imagine, everything in your microwave bag is already sealed, uh, sterilized, sorry. So it's a great place to also store your pump and any of your sterilized equipment. All right, so let's dive on in and pretend these are dry with me, um, that we have your pump. Now, here's one I prepared earlier. Um, you pop your pump back together. Now imagine that I assembled all of this. If you're not sure how to assemble your pump, I will have a how to assemble a guide uh, in the comments, I have those for the Mum Cozy pumps as they are all slightly different. Now, once your pump is uh, put back together and it's sterile, you are going to want to store this in a uh, either a, a clean closed lid container or my favourite is actually a little clean Ziploc bag. Now, I love these. Um, I know it's not the best for the environment, but they are really handy just to pop your pump in and then you can either pop that into your pump bag like this awesome Mum Cozy one and they are ready to use when you need. Uh, there is a lot of debate whether you need to wash your pump after every use. Yes, that is absolutely the best option to prevent any bacterial growing. Now, if you are unable to wash it in between your next pump, you can place your pump into a Ziploc bag. I would remove the motor for this. So if you have just taken your pump, sorry, if you have just done a pumping session and you're unable to clean your pump parts, say you're at work, you can pop it into a new Ziploc bag and into the refrigerator to use for your next session. Now, I do recommend that if you do choose to do this, that you rinse it first and that you at least once a day uh, properly clean and sterilize your pump. Again, this is not ideal to be storing it in the fridge, but it is an option, especially if you get uh, stuck and you can't sterilize or boil your uh, pump in between your session. Hope this video helps. If you have any questions, then please ask. I will do my very best to answer them.